A Florida man walks away from a plane crash this afternoon in Transylvania County. The plane came down near Brevard Elementary on a soccer field. And we've learned the pilot is the son of a well-known retired Air Force general. News 13's Kimberly King is joining us live in Brevard. And Kim, how is the pilot? Frank, the pilot is okay. His name is John Secord. Here is the plane behind me, a single prop plane, a Cessna plane. There's now tarp from the cockpit all the way back to the tail. The FAA will be back out here tomorrow to investigate. 44-year-old pilot John Secord knows he's lucky to be alive. He clearly nosed his Cessna 182 into the ground as he was trained into the empty field in front of Brevard Elementary. He done a an awesome job laying the airplane in a safe manner away from everybody in the public. Secord was reluctant to have his name released to the media due to his father's big name. Retired Major General Richard Secord, a former high-ranking defense official known for his involvement in the Iran-Contra scandal. Meanwhile, his son, a skilled pilot himself, walked away from this with just scratches. Donna Barlow was leaving her house. I heard this huge crash. She thought it was a car wreck, but then... All these police and high patrol were zooming down the road. It's lucky the kids weren't out playing right there. His plans right now is to meet with a local doctor that is uh, a, a pilot also. And uh, they said pilots help pilots out, so he's going to be staying with a pilot tonight. This is where the pilot first hit the ground, and then the plane continued to move up. He lost his front tire here, and as he continued to move up the field, his propellers began to dig into the ground. Secord had taken off from Crestview, Florida. He stopped to refuel in Atlanta. At 428, he put in a distress call to Asheville Airport, reporting engine trouble at 10,000 feet. At 432, he spotted this empty field and crashed. But this is the... I think the first ever plane crash that has happened at BES. In the end, there was just damage to the plane and one scary ride for the pilot. He said he don't want to fly that plane anymore. <laughs> Secord, as we've reported, was on his way to his nephew's graduation in Roanoke. We understand that his wife was very concerned because he had not arrived. Of course, she got the news late today of what had happened. He's staying the night tonight, as we understand here in Brevard. Live in Brevard, Kimberly King, News 13.